Today, Richard Branson, owner of Virgin Galactic, said Friday's crash will not destroy his plans to carry tourists into space. He vowed to fly with his family on the maiden voyage when his spaceship becomes operational in the future. For now, the mission is to find out why the prototype Spaceship Two broke up during a test in California. Here's John Blackstone. As investigators are continuing to collect evidence from the wreckage scattered over five miles of desert, they now know what happened in the seconds before the spacecraft broke apart. Twin tail sections of Spaceship Two called Feathers were unlocked by the co-pilot earlier than usual. Investigators saw that on cockpit video. Christopher Hart is acting chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board. This was a test flight accident, so that meant it had uh, cameras on board. How many cameras? Well, six on that airplane. There were some on the chase airplane. There was uh, at least one camera on the ground. What is supposed to happen is shown in this Virgin Galactic test flight video. The mothership releases the space plane, which then begins to climb. As it goes up, the feathers remain behind the craft. On descent, pilots deploy the feathers up to slow down the spacecraft. So when this was going up, those should not have been open. That's correct. Not until near the top of the correct. trajectory. Correct. But they did open. And then about two seconds after they started to move, that's when the tape stops. Michael Alsbury, the 39-year-old co-pilot, was killed. Peter Siebel, the 43-year-old pilot, remains in the hospital after parachuting to safety. NTSB investigators have not yet interviewed him. The crash is a setback for billionaire entrepreneur Richard Branson. He has already signed up some 800 potential space tourists who've paid up to $250,000 to ride a Virgin Galactic flight into space. One or two people must, must be naturally extremely nervous at this stage. We need to know exactly what happened um, to make absolutely certain it can never happen again. Branson had hoped to make the first commercial passenger flights into space by next year. But federal investigators here say their final report on this accident, Scott, won't be completed for about a year. John Blackstone for us tonight. John, thank you.